Warning, all of our videos are made only for educational purposes and to demonstrate scientific laws that we verify. These experiments must be supervised and we are not responsible for an incorrect execution of an experiment done by others. We do not encourage in any way that you misuse our experiments to do violent things and harm others. Hello everyone, welcome back to Chemist by Destiny. With me is uh, Asen. And today we will see uh, the reaction between nitric acid with different metals. The metals that we are going to examine today uh, are uh, copper, zinc, uh, aluminum, uh, some uh, iron, uh, and also some magnesium. So let's see this uh, awesome experiment. The procedure for the current experiment uh, consists uh, in uh, pouring uh, some uh, uh, nitric acid, uh, which is generated to 20 milliliters. Uh, then we are going to add uh, our metals to the solution, uh, and we warn you that you must uh, pay attention when you do that, uh, because some of these can be uh, highly reactive, uh, for example zinc. In fact, uh, you should follow uh, precaution, some precautions. Uh, for example, nitric acid is corrosive, uh, so you should use gloves. Uh, and also, uh, there are some fumes that produced, which are very, very toxic, uh, so you should use some uh, masks. Uh. Want you to jump like you trying to get stuck in the air. If you feeling so late and don't care, shorty beat in the face in the mirror, up in the air. I want you to jump, 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 So guys, let's see what happens in a chemist point of view in this experiment. Uh, the reaction is the following. What happens is that nitric acid reacts with uh, metals uh, with a redox reaction uh, in which nitric acid reduces and uh, the metals oxidize. So uh, the reduction of uh, nitric acid uh, produces uh, nitrogen gas that we can see that uh, are forming uh, in a red color from our recipient and the oxidation of the metals uh, uh, let the, um, the metals pass in a cationic form and so uh, they dissolve in uh, our solution. So what's important is that uh, when we use uh, metal in a powered form, since the, our area is, uh, is uh, much bigger than the, the other one, we can see that the reaction is really faster 
And so uh, we want also you to know that uh, when we use uh, um, uh, the word, when we add order to the solution, uh, since we, um, we dilute the, uh, our nitric acid, the reaction is also in this case much more faster. I want you to jump like you trying to get stuck in the air. If you feeling so lit and don't care, shorty beat in the face in the mirror, up in the air. I want you to jump, 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 Like you trying to get stuck in it. Uh, in the air. Like you trying to get stuck in the air. I want you to jump, like you trying to get stuck in the air. If you feeling so lit and don't care, shorty beat in the face in the mirror, up in the air. I want you to jump, like you trying to get stuck in the air. If you feeling so lit and don't care, shorty beat in the face in the mirror, up in the air. I want you to jump. Jump. I want you to jump, 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 up in the air, I want you to Like you trying to get stuck in it. Gotta get it, uh. In the air. Again, and you can see some beautiful. And uh, the experiment is finally over. 
And uh, what is important is that we have finally finished uh, our three uh, acids and uh, what we can see from this reaction is that the most dangerous reaction and also the strongest one is with uh, nitric acid, the second one is with hydrochloric acid and finally at the bottom of the list uh, is sulfuric acid that uh, uh, makes the reaction uh, that is not so strong. So everyone, if you like this video, please let us know in the comments. Yeah. And if you want to see more amazing experiments like this, uh, go visit the YouTube page and subscribe to it. Uh, so for today's all, thanks for watching.